we are going to be grabbing and throwing objects in this lesson. So I'm going to begin by adding a couple of objects that we can that we can interact with. So I'm going to move this cube a little bit closer and um, and I'm going to add some elements on top of it. So it'll, this will be like a table basically. So let's go here and add um, and I'm going to add a game object which I'm going to call um, let's see um, objects or grabbable objects. Just so that we keep this separate from the other environmental objects, I guess. So I guess we could also create another another game object here called environment and place all of these cubes inside of uh, and the plane as well inside of our environment. So inside of grabbable objects, I'm going to well, I'm going to set this to the the origin, and I'm just going to add here um, another cube, which will be smaller. It will be Let's make it 0 0.2 unity units, 0 0.2, and I'm going to place it on top of that uh, surface there. So I'm going to press Control Shift and just place it there. Oops, actually I want this to be uh, center. So there we go. Okay, um, let's give that cube a color. So I can actually go here in VRTK examples, example resources, uh, materials simple solid colors and I can pick like the blue for example and we can have another one that is uh, let's duplicate that and have one that is green all right so what we want to do with both these cubes is make sure they have uh, first of all a collider which they do and also we're going to give them a rigid body and um, so we're going to set up a basic rigid body for them now, besides those two things, we also have to give them um, another component that is called, I think, interactable. So let's go to scripts, interactions. It is um, interactable object. So we're going to give them both the interactable object um, component, which is the base component that you have to give objects that you're going to be interacting with, whether it is that you're going to be grabbing those components or that they will be um, either you will be interacting in one way or another. So you can see here that it says is grabbable. And so we can set that to uh, true so that we are able to grab these objects. And we have other, other options here, many other options. Like for example, what happens when they are, um, do they work with both controllers or just, just uh, one of them? And also, whoops, didn't mean to uncheck that. Also, when we are interacting with them, will they will they change color or will they stay the same? We can we can have um, a different color here, and then they will change color when you touch them. So that can be a way for you to distinguish what uh, what you are able to interact with or grab. And if you want to uh, set this back to uh, disable this, you can always set it back to black, and then nothing will happen. So we're gonna make it yellow in that case. That is the basic setup for the objects themselves but our controllers so far are not able to interact with anything so our controllers have first of all this script here that it means the controllers have uh, are going to be having button events then we have a pointer that is used for teleportation and we also have a renderer that specifies what the laser pointer will look like but by default our components are not interacting with anything if we touch something. There's nothing happening. The component that we need to add so that we can even start thinking of grabbing something, first we need to be able to recognize when we're touching something, is the interact touch um, component. So once we, have, once we add this, we can start working with whenever we are touching something, we're gonna be able to interact with that object and grabbing is obviously one type of interaction. So now that we've added interact touch, we can also add interact grab. And having those two control uh, components will allow you to grab objects. Interact grab, if we have a look here, we can specify the, the button that is used for grabbing. So by default, the grip button that can be changed to the trigger, to any button that, that you want. And um, Oops, let's go back to them. And uh, I mentioned before that here in the controller events, you had these buttons there. So you're not, we're not going to be changing that ever. We're going to be making the changes directly on their interactions. So 
The uh, grouping is here by default and you can add a throw multiplier if you want to throw things with like a much stronger impulse. You can set that to a higher number, but we'll set that to one just to have the, the, the default value. And uh, this option here, it says create rigid body when not touching. That is um, if you if you press in this case the grip button when you're not grabbing anything or you, when you're not touching an object if you press the grip button it's like your hand becomes like a block that can push things away it's like it become it it's like your hand has a collider basically a kinematic rigid body that you can use to put to to like hit something that is just standing there if you set this to false um, if you are not uh, touching anything uh, if, if, and you press the button and you, you touch something, it's like you go through it. It's like you're a ghost, basically. So I'll, we'll activate this too so that I can show you how that how that works. All right, so just a quick summary of what we've done here and how this all connects, to, uh, fits in together. Basically, on our controller side, we needed to have controller events, We had we had which means that we can read um, button presses, although we are not using this part here. Um, we had the pointer already and the uh, render already, but those are not relevant for the grabbing. The first component is relevant for the grabbing. We do need to have this. Then we added uh, interact touch so that we can detect when we are touching an object. And as we can detect when we are touching an object, we can now worry about grabbing the object. So we are, have set that up with the grid button. Then on the um, objects themselves, these two cubes, they both have the um, they both have a collider a rigid body and they have the interactable object script and in the interactable object script is grabbable is enabled so that is enabled and then you have other options like hold the button to grab or stay grabbed on teleport so you can grab something and uh, go on the teleport all right so now regarding our game view here you can see that these icons of uh, vrtk might be a, a bit too big sometimes they they might be uh, they might use too much space so you can always go to gizmos here and uh, when you see 3d icons you can reduce the size of these icons to make them much bigger if you want uh, so keep in mind that we'll also change the sizes of other icons in your scene um i'm having a hard time finding the player here so what i'd like to do is i'm just going to select sdk manager object and i'm going to give it a a color here and I want to be a little bit closer to the, the table so that I don't have to teleport each time. Um, so I'm just going to just move this uh, much, much closer. And now see that in normally you will be always facing the forward direction in, in virtual reality. But because of how I set up my play area, I am kind of on the side on the desk. So I am facing the X direction. Um, so you might want to adjust uh, your scene dep uh, depending on your particular case. In this, uh, in this case, I'm just my, my the way my room is set up. I'm just looking at this way, and I'm seated. So that is why I have set it up looking at the x direction. Okay. So let's um, after we've set that all up, let's press play and see if we if any of these things work. So I am here and um, I am trying to get the, the controllers here. So I th it seems I still need to teleport a little bit. Oh, I'm not close enough. All right. So if I if I touch the element, I'm not pressing anything. See that it uh, goes to the color that we had given it as a highlighting color. So if I'm touching something and I press the grip button, I can grab it and I can easily just throw it. So I can I can grab it and if I release the grip, it just releases it so if i'm not touching it and i press the grip and now i go and touch it i sh i can push it like so it's like my controller becomes solid so i could go and i could just push it somewhere else that didn't work but anyway so um that's that's how the basic um grabbing interaction works so it was quite easy to set up and it works really well so it's got a lot of options and then um yeah you can work in with uh, grabbable objects in this manner. Um, so that is how you set up the um, grabbing objects and that's all for this lesson. I will see you then on the next video.